Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss about DHCP. So in this video, we will be discussing about what is DHCP, how does DHCP works, what are the DHCP components, what are the DHCP messages and types of messages, also about the DORA process. So let's first see what is DHCP. DHCP is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and the basic fundamental of DHCP is to assign IP into client machine automatically into client automatically. Secondly, this DHCP is an application layer protocol means this is a layer 7 protocol. This DHCP work on client server based model means there will be a server and client responsible for the communication in this protocol. Let's see some of the component of DHCP. So the first component in DHCP is the DHCP server. DHCP server is a server that is responsible for providing the IP address or management of the IP address assignments. So in this uh, server, we, we can see a uh, Windows server will be working as a DHCP server, maybe a router or a firewall will be working as a DHCP server. Second, we have DHCP client. So any device who are requesting for the IP address to the DHCP server will be DHCP client. In our case, we can see a computer will be a client machine, computer or mobile or switch, Wi-Fi router, or any other device. Now, third component of DHCP is DHCP relay agent. DHCP relay agent. It is a kind of host that who forward DHCP packet between client and server. So this is just an agent that is responsible or you can say a host that is playing a role of sharing or sending the packet between the server and client. Okay, also this DSCP other aspect is DSCP provide IP address along with IP address it provides subnet mask, it provides default gateway, you might have heard about these things. Also the lease time, lease time means for how long the IP address will be associated with the client machines that is defined in the lease time. So now let us see about how does DCP work, also we will see what are the DCP messages. Process. So let us first talk about DCP messages. So there are four types of DHCP message that is being used or that is being performed for the IP assignment. But there are also four more messages apart from this DORA message. So let us talk about messages one by one. The first message we know that is discovery message. Discovery message is used 
to find out a DSCP server. Find out DSCP server. Next one we have offer message. Second message is offer. Offer message is used to offer IP address or a lease time from the DHCP server. IP lease. Third message is request. Request message. This message is sent by client to the server. client send this request message to server for IP assignment. Fourth one is acknowledgement. This message is used when server acknowledged to the client, when DHCP server acknowledged to the client. Fifth message is DSCP NAC. DSCP NAC is called negative acknowledgement. So, this DSCP NAC message is sent by DSCP server if the server received invalid IP that is not according to scope. Sixth number DHCP decline. So, this decline message is sent by client in case of offered configuration parameter are different or invalid. If client received a invalid or a different parameter configuration, then the client send decline message. Client send this message in case of invalid or wrong parameter configuration. Seven number message is DHCP release. DHCP release. So this DHCP message release sent by the client to the server to release IP and cancel any remaining lease time. So basically, this is sent by client for IP release and cancel cancel any remaining lease time. Eight number is DHCP inform. So, this DHCP message, this DHCP info, uh, inform message is used when a manual IP, manual IP is assigned into the client. If there is a manual IP in the client machine, then the client send inform message to the server means in this message the client informed to the server that I have IP address manually assigned. So, please make a note of it and keep the entry. So, now we are going to discuss about the DORA process because only the DORA process is responsible for the IP assignment. So, this is all as of now. In the next video, we will see about the DORA process of DHCP that will be our DHCP part 2. 
Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any query, any question or if any suggestion, please reply in the comment. Thank you for watching.